Ego breeds the sins of man. Before everything pointed to this. you think Tom's on some vigilante you remember mission? remember Hoshboy? Trying to rid the world of abusive men. I tell you what, I'm only chasing you like a We take this to the chief, and that gets us in love. Go for it. Myexbastard.com. So this seems like half an idea. Me, Adrian Davinsky. It looks like the cause of death was suffocation. What do you do with this? There's too much. Let's turn mountains into molehills. All right, listen up. Earlier this morning, Simon's body was found. We think he's the fifth victim of our serial killer. Do we have a time of death? No, still waiting on the PM results. Witnesses? Neighbours said they heard two men arguing and loud bangs at around 3.30 a.m. Did they know what they were arguing about? No, but they did say they had a vehicle full away at speed shortly after. Any CCTV footage of the area? Yeah, and his team are going through it now. Right, until then, Frears, get down to Simon's next of kin. Pascal, find out all you can about the property Simon's body was found on. Track down the owner. Find out what his relationship to Simon was. Harris, get down to the crime scene. Liaise with CSE. Keep Emmy informed. All right, you all know what you're doing. Let's get to it. What time was this? And did you run a PNC check? <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. I'll let him know. Pascal, that was Hannah's... Did they get anything on CCTV? Yeah. They identified a vehicle arriving and leaving at the time of Simon's death. Did they get a PNC check? Yes. The registered owner was a Thomas Archibald Smith. What? Peeping Tom? <laughs> yeah. Well, what time was this? 3.23 a.m. Well, that's right before the neighbours heard the disturbance. Yep, and they caught him driving off at high speed at 3.31 a.m. So, Tom's our guy? Looks that way. Right. Grab your uniform, go make an arrest. Yes, sir. I'll update Emmy. Danielle. Harris. So what do we know? Well, from our initial inspection, the suspect was tied up, gagged and kept in the bathroom for several hours. He was then brought down here, where he was repeatedly stabbed. So he wasn't strangled? Yes, he was. Look here. Those are like friction bands. Probably a rope. We found blue fibres on his neck and shoulder. Well, that's new. And that's not all. We've searched the house from top to bottom, but we're yet to find the knife that was used to stab and mutilate the victim. Well, have we searched the surrounding area? Uniform on it now. Do you have anything that we can use? Yes. We found traces of blood here and here. The victims? Highly unlikely. My guess is it's the suspects. We've sent it to be tested. We'll know soon. Good. Well, let me even get the results. Will do. Emmy? What? No way. Have you been told? Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Well, 
podcast is fucking great. It's not that bad, Gov. Not that bad. Not that bad. I can see the headlines. Police release serial killer so he can kill again. To be fair, Gov, the CCT evidence in the time of death proved that Tom killed Simon before we made the arrest. So whether we released him or not, it wouldn't have made a difference. Simon was already dead. You think the press care about the truth? Sorry, Gov. This is bad, Emmy. I know. And you? You're awfully quiet. What do you think? To be honest, I don't think Tom's our guy. And yet, we have evidence that links him to all of the victim's previous exes. And yet we don't have forensic evidence linking him to the previous crime scenes, and there is no way that he made those codes. Emmy? I have to agree. It's like what I said yesterday. Tom's involved, but I don't think he did it. Not on his own, anyhow. Look, just give us some time to look into it. No. What? You heard. I've had enough of detective hunches. This ends today. When Tom comes in, you and Harris question him. This time, I want a full confession. Chief, you can't do this. You're that close to being back in uniform. This case would suffer without me on it. This case? The case you've already fucked up? Fuck off, Harris. Sorry to interrupt. What? I just got a message from Frears. And? It's Tom. He's dead. In today's top story, it has been revealed that the prime suspect in the London Ripper murders has been found dead. The police have yet to release a statement, but a source from inside the department said the death of 37-year-old Thomas Archibald Smith from Edmonton, North London, is being treated as a suicide. It's hard to believe this is the guy we've been chasing for the last two years. That's because he's not our guy. What? You really think Tom did all this? Oh, let it go, Harris. We had Tom bang to rights. Why else would he have topped himself? Who said it was suicide? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the crime scene investigator and the post-mortem report? That could have easily been staged. Emmy, don't What's... tell me you're buying into this. I was going to say, it's, it doesn't feel right. It just feels a little bit too convenient for my liking. Look, I'm all for gut instinct, OK? Police intuition. But Tom was seen on CCTV near the victim's house. There's forensic evidence that puts him at the crime scene and his fingerprints are all over the murder weapon. And what about the other victims? Well, what about them? We never found Tom's DNA or fingerprints at any of the previous crime scenes. So he wore gloves and a boiler suit? I don't know. But what I do know is that Tom's been charged for the murder and now it's up to the CPS. So I say, rather than stand here and debate it, we go down the pub and get royally pissed. I'd say that's a jolly good plan. That's the spirit. How about you two? Not on the moon. <laughs> Suit yourself. Emmy? Not tonight, Josephine. It's been a long day. Fair enough. See you in the morning. Frick. But he's got a point, then. What? Case is closed. It's up to the CPS now. Yeah, but we know that someone else had to be involved. It's not what we know. It's what we can prove. But there is just... Listen. The superintendent made it very clear to me and the chief that if there's any mention of an accomplice, heads will roll. Yeah, but Emmy... Listen, Harris. If you're going to make DI one day, you're going to have to learn to start respecting the chain of command. All I'm saying is we get Hannah to dig a little... Did you not hear what I just said? All right. See you in the morning. Sorry to interrupt. There's a woman by the name of Ellie Roth at reception for you. That's Tom Six. Did she say what she wanted? Wouldn't say. She refused to speak to anyone but you. All right. Put an interviewer. I'll be down shortly. Yes, Gov. Sorry to keep you waiting. Would you like a tea, coffee, glass of water? No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine, thank you. So how can I help you? Is it true what they're saying on the news? Did Tom kill all those men? Well? Yes, we have evidence to suggest that Tom committed the murders. But he didn't do it. Look, 
I understand you're upset. No, you don't understand. He didn't do it. That's what he told me. You spoke to him? Yeah. No, not really. He left a voice message. When? Earlier today. Around 4.30 this afternoon. I need to hear that message. Ellie, I know I shouldn't be calling, but I didn't know who else to ring. I need your help. I'm scared. I, I didn't do all those things they're saying. I didn't want to hurt him. I was only trying to help her, but she killed him. She killed them all. Gus? Looks like our serial killer's still out there. Looks that way. Get everyone back in. It's gonna be a long night.